Hello friends! This is the first of a series of videos that are intended to introduce you to the CAPSIM Foundation Simulation. Foundation is an interesting and immersive simulation that provides a number of powerful lessons to help you build a holistic understanding of how the various aspects of a company interact. When you first enter the simulation, you will arrive at the company dashboard. There are tutorials here that you can explore at your leisure, but to get started on the simulation proper, click on Decisions and launch the web spreadsheet. You will then be brought to the cover screen for Foundation. Along the top bar are several drop-downs. Click on Decisions. There are four choices under the Decisions drop-down. Research and Development, Marketing, Production and HR, and Finance. This first video will discuss the decisions that go into Research and Development. Clicking on R&D, we look at the product design dashboard. Here we have the product designs, the perceptual map, material cost for each product, and the age for each product. In the product design table, we see that we have one product named ABLE. Each product has a specific performance and size measure. Also provided is the mean time before failure, MBTF. We then have the date of the last revision, how old the product is, and the cost of research and development in thousands of dollars. Before we delve too deeply, I think it is important to take a moment to review for you some of the context for the simulation. You will no doubt recall these details from the Foundation Simulation Manual. Remember that we are in the sensor business. We are one of six firms that have been broken out of a larger firm that was forced to break up by regulators due to a monopoly status. For our learning purposes, this is helpful because when the simulation starts, each firm starts with the same product, infrastructure, market share, and cash on hand. This allows us to evaluate our performance on equal terms with each of the other firms in our industry. Because we all start from the same circumstances, if we do better or worse than the other firms, this can only be attributed to our decisions. Capsum provides several tools to help us evaluate our performance relative to other firms. One of those tools is the balanced scorecard, but I prefer to call up the fast track report, which can be found under the reports dropdown. This is a comprehensive report, one that summarizes the critical metrics for your firm and for each firm among your industry competitors. Here you, you can compare sales, stock price, products, investments, and cash management. The round zero report, which should be the one that you find first, should show you that each of the six firms have identical financials, reflecting the fact that all firms are starting from the same place. The number one rule of product development is to understand your customer. As we start to work on the R&D decisions, we need to understand what customers want. I'm going to draw your attention to the market segment analysis on the fast track report. In Foundation, there are two market segments, low-tech and high-tech. Each segment is going to be looking for different things from the market. These differences are discussed in the Customer Buying Criteria section. For each segment, there are four priorities. Each priority is ranked by its relative importance to that buying segment. In the low-tech segment, customers are most concerned with price, with importance at 41%. They generally expect costs within the range of $15 and $35, but that being said, what is going to move buyers is to be priced lower than your competitors within this segment. Secondarily, these folks have an ideal age of three years with a rated importance of 29%. They want proven, reliable sensors that have all the bugs worked out. Thirdly, they care about reliability to the extent that the mean time before failure is between 14,000 and 20,000 hours. Targeting the middle of this range may be a good approach, but everything being equal, a higher value here is going to be more likely to delight customers. Lower values, less so. Let's examine this criteria a bit more. Because it makes a critical difference in how you can price your product. Simply put, higher reliability costs more. You will need to use higher quality materials to increase the MTBF. This manifests itself in higher material costs, represented by the horizontal bar chart in the bottom left of the portion of the R&D dashboard. Of course, the higher material costs of your product, the less margin you leave to provide for profit 
after you, you competitively price your product. Having a high material costs plus low price will foreshadow poor profitability. This is starting to touch on the integrated nature of business. There are many ways to play this game, but your decisions must be aligned. If you want to provide the low cost product, you will need to prioritize cost cutting. If you want to be recognized as the higher quality product from a certain market segment, you probably won't be the lowest priced firm. And that's okay. Both approaches can work. Formulate your strategy and work the strategy. Adjust it based upon market feedback and how the market responds to your actions. In the next video, we'll look at the perceptual map and discuss how a market segment's ideal position gives us some guidance on how to design our products.